what exactly happened over there, Nimesh? I know, you know, there was massive sell-off in, uh, in the Arani Group stocks. I'm now saying that there was panic selling, uh, not only in the market, but in the, in the overall Arani, Arani Group stocks as well. But, you know, while we all are talking about panic selling and all the fact is there are some important, uh, you know, fundamental data to track for all the group stocks of Arani Group. So, let me start with Ambuja Cement first. Uh, the stock, uh, you know, closed around at 385, 389 levels, but intraday the stock fell below the 385, the open offer price at which Adani's bought from Wholesim and made an open offer. In fact, it hit a low of 350 uh, in the in the in the middle trade. And the other important point is uh, the promoters are infusing money in in Adani's uh, in Ambuja Cement at a price of 418 rupees. It's, it's through a preferential warrants. Similar is the case with ACC as well. Intraday the stock hit a low of 1850, closed around 1900 levels, but the open offer price of ACC from uh, from the Adani family was at 2300 rupees per share. So again, there is a deep discount now to the open offer price at which uh, the Adani is bought over. And remember, both these assets are strong assets backed by cash flow, and there is a sector tailwind as well as far as the cement sector is concerned. Similar is the case with Adani Ports. Uh, look at the stock price today. It, it hit a low of 550, you know, recovered towards 600 levels in the in, in the towards the closing end. But uh, Kotak put out a note today uh, in, in the morning. They have they've upgraded the stock to a buy now from ad, and they have a target price of 860. After the after today's fall, the stock is now currently valued at less than 11 times FY24 EV to EBITDA, and this is again a, a monopoly company having a 50% market share, having a margins of more than 60, 65%, and the stock has uh, collapsed to uh, almost 10 times forward earnings. Uh, last is uh, Adani Enterprise. Now this is going to be very critical. Uh, the stock today slipped below the uh, below the FPO price. The FPO price band is between 3112 to 3276, and the anchor investors came in at the upper end. And they've committed 6,000 crores, which means half of the money, 3,000 crores, will come through the anchor investors. Now, the critical point is uh, the FPO ends on 31st of this month. Now, the key to watch would be at least one time the QIP book has, has to subscribe, and overall, 90% of the book has to, has to subscribe for the issue to go through. So that will be very important and could be a near-term catalyst for, for not only for RN Enterprise, but for the entire group as well. So while there is panic selling, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, triggers, go, I mean, a lot of, uh, panic selling, I mean, there, there was a lot of retail got, got, got cleaned out, mm. but there are some fundamental things to watch for as far as the Adani groups are concerned. Uh, Gautam, uh, your view on this, especially the way banks sold off uh, this week, uh, and uh, you know, there was all kind of debate on whether uh, the Indian banks actually deserve to fall that much. Do they actually have that much exposure to Adani? I mean, that aside, your view. Uh, 